asking a question that involves the growth of um, a bacterial population. So now, let's see. The first thing I have to do is to understand the statement and um, look for what kind of a model are you supposed to use. So, a bacterial culture grows at a rate proportional to the amount present. Well, we have spoken about growth that is proportional to the, in to the initial amount, right? And we've seen how to derive, how to use this model. We've even derived this model in the series on um, the Malthusian model. So after one hour, 400 strands of bacteria are observed, right? So here's what we have. So they told us that the bacterial culture, which I'm going to call it um, P, okay, let, me, let me call it B of T. To represent the growth of bacteria at any time t. So after one hour, it is b of 60, we have 400 in the population, right? And then at b of, um, if we work with hours, okay, let's work with hours in this case. Then after two hours, we have 500 strands. Okay, so how long? Will it take for the initial strand in the culture to double? So now, here with the given information, we don't really know how much is there at present, right? But we can say that at first, okay, let's first start with the model, right? The bacterial culture grows. So d b of t d t is proportional to some bacterial population at that time okay and we're further going to rewrite this as a proper differential equation so i'm gonna let b of t be the same as b just keep in mind that b is a function of t i'm gonna have that the b dt is equal to k b well, this means that I have to put the positive as a coefficient for the growth constant because we are dealing with the population increase and not a population decrease. So, now this is what we have so far, right? So, first of all, let's, let's integrate this differential equation. Okay, so if we do that, we're going to use variable separable. We're going to say that the b is equal to kb dt, of which we're going to have. 1 over b db is equal to k dt. If we integrate both sides, remember k is a constant, so I can pull it out of my integral sign. I will have lean of b is equal to kt plus some constant of integration. Like we always do, our aim is to exponentiate both sides such that b is equal to e to the power of c multiplied by e to the power of kt. So now let's see. Now um, I'm going to replace this with a, another constant. So we can call it a. Let's say that b as a function of t is equal to a e to the power of kt. Now this is what we have. Right. Okay. So what we can do here is that we have to solve for b at t equal to 0 is equal to b naught. But they didn't explicitly state how much population is there at first, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to apply the initial conditions to be able to solve for the constant of integration. Now, if I put on, if I replace b of t with b naught, I'm going to have that b naught equals to a e to the power of zero t, right? And then what we do next is that this term will go to 1 and we end up with that a is equal to b naught. So from here, what can we say? Well, we can say that we can take this a is equal to b naught and put it in here. So now our model that we end up with says that b as a function of t is equal to what? It's equal to b naught e to the power of kt. Okay. So now let, let's make some space, okay? 
So let's write what we have so far. So what we have is that b of t is equal to b naught e to the power of k2. Well, our aim is to be able to find um, what the equation wants, right? How long will it take for the initial strand to double? Okay. So we, we need to be able to tell is b of t equal to 2 times b naught. So this is the initial strand, right? And this is double the initial strand. And want to know at what time will this okay? But we can't really do that without knowing what is the value of b not and what's the value of k. We've got two unknowns in this in this um differential in this solution here. But taking into account the given information that they gave us that b at t equal to one is equal to let's check again 400 and b at t equal to two is 500. I'm going to replace these two into these two into into this equation over here. Now, if I say that 400 is equal to b naught e to the power of one times k, which is just k, All right? This is what we have, and let's call this equation one. And then now we replace the second condition that says that 500 is equal to b naught e to the power of 2k. And this is the second equation. But for us to be able to rewrite this equation properly, or what we can do, it's much pretty easy to say equation two divided by equation one. So when a 500 over 400 is equal to b naught e to the power of 2k divided by b naught e to the power of k. And b naught will cancel b naught. Then if we take 500 divided by 400, we get 5 over 4 is equal to e to the power of k, right? Now I'm going to introduce lean both sides. Now on the left side, I'm going to have lean of 5 over 4 is equal to k lean e, of which lean e is 1, therefore we know the value of k. So k will be the natural log of 5 over 4, which is 0, 0,22314355. So I'm just going to write all these numbers, all of them, the way they are. So now we have the value of k. Now we can go to any of the equations and calculate the value of b naught, right? So we know that from equation 1, we know that 400 is equal to 400 is equal to b naught multiplied by e to the power of k. So b naught is equal to 400 divided by e to the power of k. Okay, we know k, so 400 divided by e to the power of 0, 0,22314355135. Okay, it's much more convenient to write all the decimals after a comma because it increases your, your precision. We found 320 to be the initial population of bacteria, which is B0. So now we know our model says that B of T is equal to B0, which is now 320, we know the value, multiplied by E to the power of K, of which our K is 0, 0,22314355513T. Right, so this is how our model looks like. And now we want to know when will the bacterial population or the bacterial culture double or reach double of its initial? Okay, so now if you look here, they said to you, how long will it take for the initial strand to double, right? So now what it means right now, it means we have to be able to solve At what time will we have 320 multiplied by 2? Okay, at what time will we have that? But we know what is B of T. B of T is 320 multiplied by E to the power of 0, 0,22314355135. Okay, 
and I want this to be equal to what? 640. This means I'll divide both sides by 320. Of which if I do that, I'm gonna have e to the power of 0, 0,2231, and all that times 3 is equal to 640 divided by 322. So now let's introduce the little both sides so we can be able to bring this to the coefficient right side, right? So if I introduce little both sides, this term over here will come to the front. And I'm going to have 0, 0,2231435513 multiplied by lin e is equal to lin 2. But lin e is equal to 1. So this term falls off. Then you can solve for t by dividing both sides by this long term over here. 2231435513. So this will cancel that. And what we get? Is the value of t. So if I take lin of 2 and I divide by 0, 0,2231435513, I get 3,106. So this is approximately equal to 3,11. Okay. So you can see that it will take now this first term is in hours. And the preceding one should be in minutes, right? So it will take three full hours for the population to double. Want to know how many hours will it take? Okay. So if they want to know how many hours will it take, it will take three full hours, or you might just have to report it as 3,11 hours. Okay. But the more precise one would be to say that it will take three full hours. If you say three, then you must say full, but when if you were to put this, then you can just report this as 0, 0,11 hours. So this is the amount of time which will take for the bacterial culture to double to its initial, from its initial. Thank you for watching.